Squarespace has sponsored today's video, more about them at the end of my recipe. Banana bread is a delicious cake that can be turned into a healthy breakfast with almost 100 grams of protein. To make this recipe you will need two separate bowls for dry and wet ingredients, I will show you why in a second. In the first bowl I will start with 120 grams of oat flour. You don't need to buy oat flour, you can make it by yourself relatively easily. All you need is a blender where I will add 120 grams of oats, steel cut or instant work both. I highly recommend the Ninja Blender, it's a very high quality mixer. I will mix the oats for about a minute or so, that is enough time to turn the oats into fine oat flour. The next dry ingredient is 30 grams of sweetener. I personally use erythritol, it doesn't have this bitter aftertaste that stevia has. Next is 60 grams of vanilla whey protein powder. Protein powder is not some weird lab food as a lot of people think, it's basically dehydrated milk protein with vanilla extract, that's it. Also, I recommend whey instead of casein for this recipe, because of the added banana there is already plenty of moisture. Lastly, I will add the two ingredients that are the reason for two separate bowls. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda and half a teaspoon of baking powder. I will also add a pinch of salt for flavor. See, as soon for example baking soda gets in contact with an acid liquid, it immediately starts to react and produce bubbles that are the reason the cake will rise. However, the reaction lasts for a short period of time, so if you wait too long with placing the cake into the oven, the reaction will be over and you won't have the full effect of the leavener. That is why you should wait to add the wet ingredients ingredients until the very end of the recipe so you minimize the time between reaction and placing the cake into the oven. Ok, moving on to the wet ingredients with my second bowl, I will start with two ripe bananas. Ripe bananas will make the cake more sweet and taste in my opinion a lot better. They weigh 220 grams in total. I will also squeeze in the juice of half a lemon, you could also use an orange if you want for different flavor. Now with a fork I will start to mash the banana until it turned into mush. This takes about 30 seconds. Next is plain skewer, you can also use 0% fat Greek yogurt, they have pretty much the same macros, 100 grams will go into the bowl. Then I will add 100 grams of skimmed milk, followed up by one whole egg and 100 grams of egg whites. Instead of the egg whites, you can also use two whole eggs instead, it will add 100 extra calories. Now I will give it a mix until everything is combined and then add the wet ingredients to the bowl of dry ingredients and whisk again until it turned into one homogeneous mixture. I will prepare a baking dish that has 8 times 22 centimeters or 3 times 9 inches and it in pasta paper. Here's a quick tip. If you press the paper into a ball, you will have a much easier time to add this into any form. Then transfer the batter into the dish and bake this now in a preheated oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350F for about 35 to 45 minutes. The safest way to check if a cake is done is a food thermometer. A cake should arrive at about 90 to 95 degrees Celsius or 195 to 205 Fahrenheit. Remove the cake from the dish and let it cool down for about 20 minutes. Also, the cake will have a deep brown color that looks burnt, this is because of the baking soda. This will add a ton of flavor to the cake. So first give it a try before you slice it off, you will be surprised how good it tastes. The entire banana bread comes in with 1,121 calories, 150 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fat and 95 grams of protein and has everything you need for a healthy breakfast. This recipe is part of my newly released cookbook with over 140 low calorie high protein recipes that will help you lose weight and keep it off forever. From breakfast to lunch to dinner to the dessert, everything you need is in this book. And on top of that you will receive every recipe update after your purchase for free. See it as a once in a lifetime investment into your health. Link is in the description. I want to thank the sponsor of today's video Squarespace. Squarespace is a platform where you can build your own website. Whether it might be your own blog, your online store or your photo portfolio, Squarespace has a number of clean and professional templates to choose from and it's incredibly simple to use. You can integrate consultation times if you are a personal trainer or have a password protected member area for your clients. They also have a built-in web designer that makes sure your website looks great on all devices and not only on desktop. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial and and when you are ready to launch, go to squarespace.com to save 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain.